Woo Take a look at that, Christian and Caitlin. It's called the Moose Tracks. Look, I'm having ice cream at our favorite place like last time. See, Sally's is over there. Spagler Beach, we miss you guys. Grandma and Grandpa say hello. I say hello. We're thinking about you always and we miss you. This is called the Moose Tracks ice cream. So good, oh my God, you should try it. It's so, so, so good. I stumbled across it because they didn't have my uh, traditional vanilla chocolate chip. You know how like I always get a vanilla chocolate chip, right? Well, they didn't have it, so the guy was like, you gotta try the Moose Tracks. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, you gotta try it. I'm like, all right, let's go, let's do it, let's go. And man, when he gave it to me and I dipped into this, O-M-G, so freaking good. So, 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 so good. Um, I wanted to share with you something when I was growing up, when I was a little kid, a lot of people told me that I couldn't do the things that I wanted to do. You know, you ever hear people tell you, her, 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 her. You know, have you heard? Have you heard? That's what I'm trying to say. That's a word. Have you heard? Have you heard people tell you no? I know. Everybody likes to tell us no. And when you get older, people tell you no. When you get a job, they tell you no. When you want a pay raise, they say no. When you want to travel, they say no. When you ask for a vacation, they say no. When you try to go above and beyond your job description, they tell you no. If you try to do more than you get paid, they say no. If you, uh, you know, you want to take a chance and do th something without clearance or approval, they say no. Well, let me tell you something. The things that I've accomplished in my life uh, is because I did not just settle with no. People are going to tell you no and they're going to tell you no a lot. And I'm here to tell you that you can do anything and you can become anything that you want to become. If you have the vision in your mind and you have a passion and a will and desire and you're going to work hard every single day to do it, then nobody has the right to tell you no. If you're going to put in the work and you're going to dedicate yourself to mastering your craft, whatever it is, if you want to be a swimmer, like when we're swimming, right, all that practice, and you, Christian, when karate, when you were doing karate, if you're practicing over and over and over again and you love it, and you love what you want to do, nobody has the right to tell you no. People only tell you no because they can't see the vision. They don't have the passion. They don't have the dreams. They don't have desires. And this is really important because you have to stay true to who God's called you to become. You can't be like your friends. Don't try to be like your mommy, your daddy. Don't try to be like me. Don't try to be like your grandparents. Just be the best that you can be for you. Because if you try to be like somebody else, you're going to be a watered down fake. You're not going to be the real you. You're going to just be a fake. You're going to be a, a, a second carbon copy. You're going to be a second copy of somebody else. And that is the worst feeling in the world because then you are empty shell and you don't know who you really are and what you're here to do. So if you want to do something and you're passionate about it, then just go and do it. Figure it out. Just do it. And aim to be the best in whatever it is that you're doing. Aim to be the very best. Don't aim to be not the very best. Aim to be the very best. If you want to be a video gamer, Christian, be the very best video gamer in the world. Kaylin, if you want to be the best, if you want to be a baker, be the very, very best baker in the world. Okay, don't aim to be just good enough. Okay, winning, when you see people winning, right, people only pay attention to people that are winning. Have you noticed that? They don't pay attention to the middle pack. They don't pay attention to the losers. We only pay attention to the winners. So if you want to do anything, be the very best. Work hard and be the best and aim to be the best at it. Okay, don't aim for anything less. You don't get anything out of being less. And anybody who tells you to just do less and don't work so hard and don't try to be the best, they are very, very, very confused in life. Very confused in life. Think about it. When you try to learn how to walk, did you just try once or twice? No, you tried and tried and tried and you learned how to walk. You didn't just give up. It's the same thing of being the best. You try and try and try to be the very best and you don't give up, same concept. So anybody tells you to do less and to relax and have balance, they're very, very confused and they're not really for you in your dreams. People who want to see you successful, they will freaking say, get after it, go after it. They will freaking be the energy and the drive and the passion behind it. And I hope I am that for you guys. Even though I'm not with you, I hope I'm, these videos are gonna reach you guys and I know they will. And to know that I believe in you guys. I believe in every single thing that you're gonna do in this world. I know you're gonna freaking be the best versions of yourself that you can be and you're gonna spin this world freaking so hard and so crazy. And um, 
that's it because my moose tracks is turning into liquid tracks. I love you guys. I miss you. Can't wait to see you. Much love. Mwah.